Hey, hi, hello, citizens and students of YouTube. I've never done an introduction video for this channel. Every other YouTuber has like one video where they're talking about themselves and telling people about them, and I've never done that. Let me start by doing this. Hello, we're gonna shake hands now. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you have a very firm handshake. I appreciate that a lot in person. And now moving on to the actual content of the video. So here's some facts. Fact number one. I'm an insomniac. I don't really feel like I need to explain any further. If you don't know what the definition of insomniac is, it's pretty much just I don't sleep or I have a lot of trouble sleeping, and I don't feel like I need to go on past there. Fact two. I'm what people would call an artistic person. I tend to spend a lot of my time in the arts, and I believe that the arts can expand a lot of things for other people. I think it's a good way that may start as being used as procrastination and can actually turn your procrastination into a better idea for something that can make you more efficient at what you're doing. I am a strong believer and the fact that art can fix a lot in a person's life and I also think that it's a great way to learn more about yourself because the things that you create are a reflection of yourself and the things that you like. It's a good thing to show people too because then they can also have kind of an insight into who you are as a person. Insightful. Fact three. I hate watermelon. Now some people would say hate is a strong word when you're talking about a food but I absolutely positively despise watermelon. I hate it. It makes me feel so sick. It has the weirdest texture and it tastes so bland. I've always hated it. Ever since I first tried it I've been like no keep it back. I don't want it. But the weird part about this is that although I hate the actual fruit I love watermelon sweets. If you hand me some Sour Patch watermelon I will love you forever. Just don't actually hand me real watermelon because I'll probably knock it out of your hand. Fact four. Here's an interesting one that a lot of people in here probably don't know about me. I had second degree burns. But Emily, what were your second degree burns from? Were you in a fire? I was most certainly not in a fire. I was at the beach for 10 hours. When I came home, I had burns all around my neck and all across my face, which means I'm even more sensitive to the sun than a normal pale person would be. Way to go, Emily. Number five. Something I actually got into in the last couple of years is I've started to collect hats. I just have a lot of hats. I really like hats, even if they're ridiculously stupid looking hats. I still just love them. They're my favorite things. And I think that's cool. Numero six. I am terrified of cockroaches and spiders. Most people are moderately afraid of them. I'm terrified to the point where if I see one, I will freeze and just not move. Even thinking about them right now is actually making me really clammy and nervous and uncomfortable, so I don't feel like I need to elaborate anymore. They just really freak me out to a point where it's ruining my life. Fact seven. And this last fact is one that I'm pretty sure a lot of people can relate to, is actually the fact that I have no idea what I want to do with my life. Most people, by the time they're my age, have at least some sort of glimmer of an idea of what they want to do. They've found an area of interest that they really, really enjoy. And while I do have areas of interest that I really enjoy, I don't know whether they're worth pursuing as my career. I feel a lot of times that when I put my effort into these things, people do pay attention, but not to the level I would need to to be successful with it. And I know it's all a matter of working towards it, but it's also kind of hard to get motivated to do things sometimes because the things I'm interested in are the ones that are a lot harder to get jobs in. This has kind of led to me being in these college courses where they expect me to kind of know what I want to do, and I don't know anything about what I want to do. No. I got nothing. That was the seven facts about me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed some of them. I know that the last one was kind of like, oh, oh, okay, stepping on some toes, but hopefully I know there are other people out there who feel the same way as me, and maybe you guys feel like you can relate to me a little bit more than just that random chick talking to you through her camera. Woo! So have a good web time it is where you are in the universe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.